Stephen, do you want to kick off? Sure, we're going to Can you just give us your sense from the player's point of view how, how happy they are with that performance today? Um, yeah, I'd say give us seven, eight out of ten. I thought we were very good. I um, thought we probably left a couple of tries out there. Um, but overall, I thought we were um, very happy with our defensive effort. And they're a good attacking team. Um, we've seen that over the last two or three years, especially. So I've been improving all the time. So to keep them to zero was uh, a big effort from the lads. And obviously, after a very impressive win against uh, France in the opening game, how pleased were the players who came in today to show this is very much a, a squad that players will be given their chance in, in this tournament? Um, yes, yeah, those guys came in for a variety of reasons. We niggles here and there, and uh, obviously some guys were given chances. And um, I think everybody demands set up and um, put in a good performance. And I think that's Andy has the trust in all the guys in the squad. <clears throat> I think that's why he keeps the squad pretty small in general. So um, I think everybody came in, uh, performed really well, and hopefully that gives them trust in the future if there is injuries. Two out of two, did the, the squad think what special things you might have? Yeah, we'd love to go on and win the championship and get another Grand Slam, but um, I don't think anybody's getting too far ahead of themselves after two games. Um, we know how hard it is to do. We've only done it four times in our history, so um, I think we're just looking at Wales in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Stuart, how difficult is it to have to um, come in from club form when everything's haven't been going great at all? Stuart, how difficult is it to put that to bed and come in and, and try and, you know, your best foot forward here? Uh, yeah, on a personal level, I probably haven't been going too badly. I thought it went all right. Uh, Club-wise, yeah, we had a couple of bad results before we came in here, Ulster, but um, I think we've won the same amount of games as Munster, won the same amount of games as Connacht. We're not as good as Leinster, and I don't think anybody in Europe is as good as Leinster. So, um, yeah, it's pretty easy to put behind us. How pleased were you with your own performance today? You had a big say in a few of those tries. Yeah, it was good. There's some stuff I've been working on uh, personally. So, um, yeah, it's good to get a few offloads out there. I uh, could get my hand on the ball a lot of times. So, um, but like, listen, it's so easy to play with those lads out there. Like, you've seen that over the last probably two years. It's the best team in the world when we're playing like that. So, um, yeah, I was just excited to play my part in it, really. And all the talk after round two is still about Ireland. How much do you embrace that? You're saying you want to go on and do something special, but as a group, how much do you relish that being the, the team that everyone's talking about? Um, I think from sort of an Ireland perspective, yeah, it's great. I think we want to sort of inspire everybody here and um, give some give people something to cheer about and play some good rugby while we're doing it. So I think hopefully we're achieving that. Um, we fell a wee bit short of the World Cup, but to bounce back over the last two weeks um, and show what we're about has, has been really impressive. Stuart, we were speaking to Andy there just about how we've given other players opportunities <coughs> and we saw that today. How is that for you as a, as a player, maybe starting one week and, and maybe not the next? Um, sort of got used to it over the years. Um, 31 now. I'm, I'm happy in the role I have to play in this team if that's come in for one or two games in the Six Nations and hopefully um, do a decent job um, when I'm in there and play well if, uh, if that's what he asks of me. And I think most of the guys, have, um, so there's different guys at different stages of their career who have come in, guys at the start obviously and playing their first or second caps. And then guys like Handy coming off the bench and doing a job as well. And there's no sort of egos. Like Handy's got. Um, 80 caps for Ireland and he's more than happy to come off the bench in a Six Nations game and play really well when he did come on so um, it's probably testament to Andy for keeping everybody that fire and everybody to play. And how do you think Caden got on as captain today? I couldn't tell you how he played, I was sort of worried about himself a lot of the time but uh, he did a great job in the week, um, it was pretty seamless from Pete to him and Pete helped out during the week as well and he, he actually spoke really well during the week as well Caelan. Um I know he does when he's not captain, but I thought he had some really good words um, for the squad in the last few days. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Stuart. Uh, well done. Um, I don't know, does it translate onto the pitch? Ireland got a fast start and a great try, and then it was kind of maybe a 20 minute period where there was loads, a lot of mistakes, and that the crowd kind of went very quiet. You could kind of hear them talking. Can you pick that up? Do the players pick that up? <coughs> um, I'm trying to remember it, sorry. Um, I was, yeah, listen, I think in a way it's probably tough for the crowd in a game that they probably expect us to win, like the crowd do. I don't think we, any of the squad, expect us to win that game. I know we know it's going to be a tough task and we can see what they deliver, but um, as a fan, probably looking on to it, they probably expect us to win. And when we start fast and we don't keep going at that rate, it's probably that's why the lull comes. But um, 
that, you know, I think you feel a wee bit out there. It doesn't affect us too much. Um, we're pretty used to it by now. But um, I thought we like, gave him a fair amount to cheer about. I, I think we probably left a couple of tries out there in the end. But um, that's going to happen then, too. Okay, thanks so much. Sure. Oh, sorry, Derek. Yeah, Stuart, you're back again. Um, we had a period where you had played six games in a row. Funny enough, when we were getting used to looking at you, you've never been able to get back in again. Is, is, do you see any um, overall old, old change in the side that, say, ran up to the World Cup and the side that has just reappeared now into two top class performances? No, it's pretty much the same team. A um, couple of different players here and there. Obviously, Johnny Leaving's been massive. Um, but I thought Jack's really stood up well the last couple of weeks. Um, but the way we want to play hasn't changed. There's wee tweaks here and there. Um, I think when we lost in the World Cup, obviously it was very like, heartbreaking, really. But um, we knew we weren't too far away. Um, you don't throw sort of the all the toys out of the pram just because of one like, not brilliant performance by us. So I think we were just improving on what we were doing. And um, I think you've seen some of that come out in the last couple of weeks. I'm just asking that a little bit awkward because it's not about you. Um, we see Robbie as a 12 and a 13, and we've seen him be injured, and we've seen him hover around camp, and we've seen all the setbacks that he's had. Uh, he had a fast start today. Do you enjoy playing with him, and, and do you think that, that, that he may be back to possibly what we consider to be the Lions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, Robbie's world class is probably one of the top three or four centres I've ever played for Ireland, in my opinion. Um, Hope he plays 13 a bit more for me because I can't play 13. But um, no, he was class today. He was class last week as well. So hopefully that is him coming back to his best. Um, I think when you give Robbie around the side at, at any stage, he's always been very good, no matter what position. If that is, well, not whether he's, whether he's played 12 or 13. So um, I, I've never doubted he's world class. It's just Gary's been incredible over the last year. And Bundy got nominated, obviously, for World Player of the Year. So it's a pretty stiff competition in there. Um, do not tell me about it anyway. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.